Let's talk about X Wallet. Let's walk through the initial setup of X Wallet, how to set the wallet up, and how to send Kadena from KuCoin to X Wallet. Ready? Let's dive deep. Again, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor, never advise you buy, sell, trade, or hodl any cryptocurrency. You always need to consult with your own financial advisor before making any investing decisions. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Google Chrome and we're going to search CADEX X Wallet. We're going to come over to their website. We're going to choose Download X Wallet. Click Add to Chrome Store. Add Extension. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to choose start now. This is where it's critically important. We never collect your keys, addresses, transactions, balance, hashes, or any personal information. We never collect your full IP address. We never sell data for profit ever. This is where you have to read the terms of use. I cannot stress how important this is. The terms of use tell you everything. So when you make a mistake and you lose all your crypto or you do something, it is your own fault for not reading the fine print. I promise you this is crypto. Things get really complicated. This isn't something you just skip over your terms of service or you don't read every detail of all the fine print. Be very careful. We're going to generate our private keys. Now these private keys are never going to be shared anywhere. We're going to write them down on a sheet of paper. We're not going to take a picture of them and save them in our email. We're not going to send them over to a default email. We're not going to ever let these things do anything but get displayed on our screen right now. We write them down in hand, case sensitive matters. And then we're going to go make a backup copy where we're going to stamp them into a metal plate. What I have here is a metal plate I got off of Amazon and I have my Dymo printer. Now this is just gonna be a quick one so I can actually get it onto this plate. I also have metal stamps. Ledger wallets, if Ledger doesn't upgrade and get with the times, they're gonna be outdated. People use Ledger because it's the only way to really safe and secure like an actual hardware wallet. But with Kadena's end-to-end -end encryption, Kadena's made crypto security, signing transactions, everything like that so much better. Ledgers just aren't advanced enough to support Kadena. So what we're gonna do is we're going to write down our private keys. I'm gonna print them one by one in this. I'm gonna put them in this plate, right? But if this plate goes into a safe and my house burns down, the stickers are gonna melt, right? So I'm doing this short term that way after next week, I'm going to come over, grab all my new wallet keys because I'm making like four or five new Kadena wallets. I'm going to stamp them in here and then I'm going to go put them in a safety deposit box or a safe place. Now, this is where a lot of people get confused. When you're downloading X Wallet right now, you're downloading it on this specific PC and this specific browser. So Google Chrome on whatever desktop they're using right now. So if this desktop goes bad and you need to use your wallet on another computer, you're gonna need your private keys and password. Once you have this installed on this PC, you're only gonna need your password to log back in. That's why you don't have to have your private keys every time you log in. But if this computer goes bad or if you break your phone or whatever the case may be and you need to reinstall the wallet, that is where you're gonna need the keys and the password. A lot of people don't realize that. They think, oh, I got the password, I can access my wallet. No, you can only access your wallet on this specific PC because by already putting in your keys, you approved it on this PC. And that's why nobody else can download it and access your wallet with just your password because they need your keys. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a password. After we type in our password, in the next step, you will record 12 of your recovery phrase words. Your recovery phase makes it easy to restore your wallet on a new voice. Anyone with this phrase can take control of your crypto wallet. Do you understand that? If anybody gets these keys, they are going to take your crypto wallet. I'm going to check the I understand box and I'm going to hit continue. 
there's going to be a little safe icon where you're going to click on that safe icon. So now what I'm doing is I'm printing out all these words and I'm just going to stick them to this plate for now. That way I got them wrote down. I didn't hand write them anywhere. I don't have to worry about them being misspelled. You know, I can't read my writing sometimes. Fourteen minutes later, I now have my private keys on this metal plate. They are all just typed in, right? They got stickers. I printed them out. Now I'm going to go back into the wallet and it's going to make us confirm these words. So case sensitive is important. And I cannot tell you the amount of times that I'm like, oh, I'm going to screenshot this. I'm going to save it in a file. I'm going to put it onto a thumb drive that I'm never going to leave anywhere. I'm going to have that thumb drive forever. I promise you guys, you guys take a screenshot. I'm going to save it later. I'm going to save it on my phone and I'm going to add it to a folder in a hard drive or somewhere offline. You're like, don't, 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 don't guys. I promise you guys, this is how people get absolutely devastated. This is how all your crypto gets lost. And this is why I don't mind having 20 crypto wallets because I got a little cadena on this X wallet. I'm going to have a little cadena on the other X wallet. That way, if one of my sets of keys gets compromised, I'm okay. So now what we just did was we typed in our recovery phrase. After it asked us to write it all down, it's gonna ask us to input it one by one, every character case sensitive matters. That way it guarantees that you wrote this down. That is the purpose of forcing you to re-enter it. I know that this is painful. It's time consuming. This is your bank account. This is the only bank account that you're gonna ever have where nobody's gonna come help you. If you lose your money, it is gone. That is the whole purpose of the keys and this is why crypto is so safe once it's in your wallet as long as you don't do anything stupid. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in our password. Now we have X wallet installed, fully unlocked, ready to go. Now we wanna deposit money into our X wallet. So we're going to transfer money from KuCoin to X wallet. Ready? Let's dive deep. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to chain one. Now, Kadena is working, so it doesn't really matter what chain you're going to use, but this is how it works. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're on chain one. We're going to choose the receive button. Obviously, chain one ID is displayed here, and we are going to grab our wallet address. We're going to copy this wallet. I still can't believe I've been able to accumulate another 3,171 Kadena in the last couple of weeks. This is crazy, man. So I'm going to send this could I'm going to send my Kadena from my trading account to my main account. So we're going to come over to KuCoin. We're going to choose transfer from trading to main. We're going to choose all. Now, this is what sucks about KuCoin. They straight rip you off. I mean, this is just one of the many things you do not want to leave your Kadena on KuCoin. I can promise you that if there's any exchange that's going to get shut down because of Luna and all KuCoin Coinbase may be going bankrupt. This industry is getting hit pretty hard. When people lose billions and billions and billions of dollars, it cripples an industry. 80 billion to 100 billion dollars was lost just in Luna, not to mention all the damage that did to everybody else's portfolio. So we're going to want to make sure we get our Kadena off here. The times that there are always a lot of issues is the first time sending to a wallet. So anytime you withdraw from an exchange, it normally takes extra time because it's the first time that they connect to your wallet for whatever reason. Notice only chain one supported for withdrawals. Only addresses beginning with K are supported. So you have to put the K address in there. It's kind of standard in Kadena now. So again, back over to our X wallet, copy our address, swing back over to KuCoin. We're actually going to go to our address book and we are going to add in a address. This way we don't really have to mess with it next time. We're going to add in a wallet. We're going to paste the wallet right here. Choose network Kadena wallet name. I'm going to say X2. So I'm just going to name it so I know what it is. X wallet chain one second wallet windows submit. Now you're going to have to go through and enter all your KuCoin details. It's going to send you a verification code to your email. Now we're going to come back over to our main account. We're going to choose withdrawal. 
Again, it's gonna pop up what wallets, select an address. We're gonna choose the one that we just put in here. And we're just going to choose two. We're gonna withdraw two KDA. It charges you a fee. We're always gonna say two coin fees are a scam. And we're gonna choose withdrawal. We're gonna confirm our withdrawal. We already entered our password and all this stuff a minute ago. And now we wait. So depending on the application, sometimes it's really quick. Sometimes it's really slow. So we're just gonna sit here and wait. Once our two Cadena show up, or one, depending if the fees were taken out, I think two should show up here. Once our two Cadena show up, we're golden. And we can sit back and we can send the rest. So let's just test it out, do things smart. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to click the little puzzle piece on the Google dropdown and we're gonna to wanna to pin X wallet up here. So now we can just click on our X wallet and actually see as well. Anytime your first withdrawal from an exchange, like my AVEX took an hour and a half, normally Cadena doesn't take that long, but we always wanna make sure that no matter what we do, we wait because nothing would be worse than being impatient and having to try to recover something crazy like 1200 Cadena from a wallet. It'd be crazy. Boom, baby. Two KDA and that took literally three minutes for our first withdrawal from KuCoin. That's pretty quick. So we, now we have two Cadena in our X wallet. Now we're gonna come over here. Again, we're gonna choose our address book. We're gonna change, we're gonna, so next again, now we're gonna come back over here, choose our X wallet to the right wallet we wanna withdraw and just go through the same process. This time we're gonna choose all. Again, KuCoin sucks balls. Now we wait, cost us two KDA, five bucks to do those transactions and withdrawals, cost of doing business. By the end of this, the amount of money or the amount of KDA that I've basically given to KuCoin to do these withdrawals, one day will probably be worth about 50 to 100,000. Coin Metro, I strongly suggest using. Binance, I strongly suggest using. And hopefully Coinbase will be next. Again, if you notice right here, without refreshing the page, it was not showing up on the actual Chrome browser. But if I were to refresh this now, you can see that there was two KDA in there. So what we are waiting for is the rest of our KDA to actually hit our wallet. And again, I don't know if it'll show up without you refreshing free. I don't know if it'll show up without you refreshing the page. Right now, unfortunately, CADEX is very early in their development stages. They've had a lot of issues going on with their team and internal drama, which most likely took focus away from development took the focus away from offense and now they had to play defense which most likely pushes things off all hands on deck to deal with drama and bs and who really knows but unfortunate and you can see down here on my withdrawals my transactions like 3167 to 1621 to 5,365, 694, 519, 485, 1, 1,400, 5, 7,296. Like just the list goes on and on and on. You can see, do you ever, do you see any deposits back to KuCoin? No, all withdrawals, withdraw, 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 withdraw. I've never sold a penny. I've never sold a single Cadena. I never plan to sell any and Busano. Now we have 3,169 KDA in a brand new X wallet, completely separate from all my other Cadena wallets. Now we just get to sit back, relax, wait for the show, and let's dive deep, guys. If you guys are looking to learn more about the Cadena ecosystem and really taking your crypto education to the next level, I go live every Monday through Friday from 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do private crypto coaching. We're studying blockchain technology. We're studying crypto wallets, how to make all of these things from scratch, how to code impact everything that you need to know to be successful. And I'm just learning along the way with you guys. So it's an honor, it's 99 cents. 
but it's just class every night from people that actually want to pay attention. They want to study blockchain. They want to study applications and we do it as a group and it's a blast. So appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Again, my name is Ryan Meta. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.